guys and welcome back to my channel it's me Lorraja Andrea aka Red Fairy aka I'm just joking this is Lorraja Andrea and I am here to give you guys a talking video we finally got our dentures all together I'm joking I don't have dentures <laughs> But I finally got my, you know, my speech and like I can pronounce my words correctly and all that stuff. If you guys don't know what the hell I'm talking about, I um, just recently got my teeth done. If you guys, you know, have not noticed a freaking difference. But um, yeah, I just recently got my teeth done and, you know, I couldn't really talk when I first got them. But now I'm used to them. I don't even notice that I have them. And I mean, I do when I look at, you know, myself in the mirror or something like that. But I finally got it all together so we are back with another talking tutorial. So today in this video we're going to be doing an updated foundation, highlight, contour, you know all that stuff routine. I feel like I have not done a routine like this in such a long time. I literally think it's been a year since I had like more of like a back to basics type of series. I don't really think I'm going to call this like a series. I I know like you guys know back in the day if you're a true Larasia Andrea ride or die back in the day i would do a series called for dummies and i would do eyebrows for dummies eyeliner for dummy dummies um foundation routine for dummies um lace frontal routine for dummies and like all that stuff so you know you guys really like those excuse me you guys really like those type of videos like i have a lot of views on videos like that so i was like okay why not bring that back because you guys love them so much and i've updated literally everything from doing my lace frontal wigs my eyebrow routine is different my eyeliner routine is different my foundation routine is different everything is different everything has new products and it obviously you know a year goes by companies come out with so many different things and you just pretty much just update everything so everything is updated everything is new so i want to bring those back and start to do those type of videos for you guys because you love them so much um, not only am I going to be doing an updated foundation routine, I'm also going to be showcasing my curly wig. I posted a picture, I'll probably put it in this video, but I pretty much posted a picture and you guys went crazy, was asking me so many questions and it was like three basically the same things that you guys were focused on and that was the hair, that was the soft beat that I had, and it was also um, my smile. So. <laughs> When it comes to my smile, like I told you guys, I just got my teeth done, so I want to have a whole separate video because it's not really much to talk about. I don't have veneers. That's what's going to throw you guys off about it. These are not veneers. These are pretty much my teeth, and they just put coverings over them, but they're not veneers. So, you know, I kind of have to do a video where I'm explaining what they really did, um... So yeah, it's kind of hard to explain just by telling you just what they did because you'll be like, what? Like how did how did how the hell they even do that? But yeah, so that would be a whole nother video. Just bear with me because I've been under a lot of you know, I've been having a lot going on in my life and just you know, I'm trying to get everything together. It's so hard being a YouTuber. It is so hard. I don't think people even understand because your mind just is always going and it's just so much to do in so little time in the day i swear to you so not only am i going to be talking about my foundation routine but i'm also going to be showcasing my wig with my first wigs that is the curly wig that you guys see all the time with me wearing um whether it's in my story or you know on my instagram or something um you guys are really interested in seeing that wig. So I will be showcasing that wig in this video as well. And also um, where you can purchase that. You, it's not just, you know, regular hair that I just sewed in together and make a wig. That is a wig that I made with them. And it's so special to me because it is more of like a natural texture. 3B, 3C specifically. But yeah, I will kind of get into the wig later. But I really want to get into the foundation routine. So let's get started. So my brows are all done because I kind of have to take my time when it comes to my brows i will probably be doing an updated brow routine because my products are different um so yeah i will be doing that later on within the next few weeks but i really want to focus more so on the foundation i am going to kind of skim over some eyeshadow because i want to do the same look that I had in that picture um, and I just brought a couple of new products so I kind of want to experiment a little bit with those so I'm just going to take my NARS soft matte creamy concealer you guys know I love this concealer so much for using on my eyes whether it's in the color of mine which was this one or if it's um 
in the color Chantilly, which I like to use as like a light base. Um, it's more so like a white color on me, but I like to use that to do my cut creases and any lighter eyeshadows, like bright colors and stuff. And this brush is just a large concealer brush that I got way back in the day when I first started getting makeup brushes before my Sephora days and before my Morphe days like when a girl was just starting into makeup and I'm just going to blend out that concealer this is a makeup revolution I'm lying this is a makeup addiction brush and the queen and I love using this for buffing out my concealer on my eye because it's quick and it does a really good job so when it comes to eyes I'm pretty much going to be using two colors let me go in for y'all okay so when it comes to eyes i'm going to be using one palette i just got this it's from huda beauty it's their total obsessions palette and it is so purple um let's take the morphe m535 let's go in with this very pretty burnt orange that's a lot better and we're just going to buff this into the crease i love the cute beauty like little mini palettes i told you guys before i bought like all of the original mini palettes that she originally um came out with and then i guess these new ones uh, from the total obsessions collab wait i think they're all total obsessions but the new ones that have like this new packaging on it i believe they're limited edition so I bought the topaz one and then I also bought the um, purple one because that one is freaking gorgeous and I will be showcasing that one in a different video. Okay and I'm going to take the Morphe M576 brush and I'm going to go in with that darker brown. I don't want to do too much. I think I'm just going to lightly buff that in. I don't want too much darkness because in that picture I definitely didn't have like a smoky eye or anything going on. It was just like a little bit of um, contour in the crease. Again, the focus is pretty much just going to be on the face, but I just want to do like a little simple yet pretty eye look. So I got this from MAC. I just picked it up today. It's their MAC Dazzle Shadow Liquid in the color Ray and Rays. I think it's called that. Rayon Rays. Ray and Rays. And I'm also going to take this pigment, this loose eyeshadow from Peach's Makeup in the color Dynamite. They are pretty much the same color as far as the liquid shadow and the pigment shadow. But you know, I like to be extra sometimes and do the most. So I'm going to do the liquid shadow and then put this shadow right over top. And I just have this crazy obsession with liquid eyeshadows lately. Maybe because I'm just like super lazy. I don't really know what it is, but I just... You know, I've pretty much been going towards the liquid shadows. And I think that's really because companies are starting to, um, you know, come out with more liquid shadows like Stila, MAC, and like, you know, other brands, obviously. But everyone is pretty much getting on the wave of liquid shadows. And I don't mind it because they're easy and they're very effortless. And they do the job, you know what I'm saying? Okay, this though, it literally just looks like wet. Like just wet on my eye. Ooh, beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my liner. I'm kinda gonna do it off camera because I need to take my time when it comes to doing my liner lately. Um, I will probably do a back to basics video with that too, but you know, for right now, I just want to do this off camera so it's perfect and then come back and let's focus on this foundation routine. Okay, eyeliner is all done and now we're going to move on to the foundation. So, 
I've been loving to use the CoverFX Mattifying Primer because the foundation I'm going to be using today is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. I've been trying this for like a quite uh quite some time. I got it when it first came out into stores. I got it from Ulta. So the first day it was launched, I went to Ulta like nine o'clock in the morning and got this. So it's been like a month now since I've been trying this, and it's like my all-time favorite foundation ever. It's a very good coverage. Um, the only thing is I don't like using it with their primers, like the the NYX primer. Um, I feel like it's a little bit too matte for me. I like it better with the mattifying primer from cover effects only because this primer says mattifying but it has such a, a silky type of um, consistency to it so that when you put something mattifying over top it's more or less like a modern or um, you know like a modern matte than so much like a drying matte it's like a natural matte if that makes any sense take some of the primer and put it on my skin it looks amazeballs I feel like my skin has its ups and downs like depending on I don't know like one day my skin will be like like one week my skin will be really good and then the next week it's like I have a few blemishes it's nothing crazy like how it was last year like that was on a whole nother level <laughs> a whole nother level of like stress and people pissing me off and everything like that so we got rid of all the bad demons this year so you guys have not seen my skin act the way that it did before so the shade that i'm using in this is mocha and i feel like this is a pretty good match to me it has like um neutral undertones to it with a little bit of golden um i think it matches pretty freaking well so i have zero complaints i know a lot of times with you know foundations like this from uh drugstore brands or more affordable brands they never really cater to our skin tone so um i love the fact that um i was gonna say arnell <laughs> that's her sister but i love the fact that Alyssa ashley you know did this whole collab with them and catered more to our chocolate girls that's funny i said arnell arnell is my girl i talk to her you know every blue moon especially when we're like doing wigs and stuff she's so freaking nice like i love her now i'm gonna move on to concealer while my foundation says a little bit more um i'm gonna be using two concealers the tarte shape tape and the cover effects power play concealer the this one's already been out this one is in the color deep you guys have seen me use this um you know a couple of times on my channel but this one just came out and i love this concealer i use the foundation um you guys have seen me use their foundation from them a couple of times and i usually you know when i did use it i mixed it with the marc jacobs um highlighting and rose gold i mixed those two together and i think that's bomb but i love to use these two paired together because again it's kind of like the same thing i love balancing and i love to balance like a matte with more of like you know um a different consistency or a different finish pretty much to balance so i feel like the tarte shape tape is more on the matte side and the cover fx power play concealer is more on the modern hydration um not too much hydration i don't even think it is hydrating i'm lying i think it's more like a modern matte like how i keep saying this whole entire video of like the finish that i love so I feel like these two mixed together, number one, lasts a very long time with little to no creasing. And I just love the finish of it. It just looks really nice paired with the NYX foundation with the primer from Cover FX. I love using Cover FX stuff. I feel like they just do really well with my skin because a lot of their stuff is hyperallergenic um, and it doesn't break my skin out or anything like that. So I really do like shopping for their stuff because it just does me so well now we are going to be going in with the beauty blender but not until later when we do our setting powder when it comes to blending on my concealer i like to use the sigma brush 
and this one i actually didn't even talk about the foundation brush but pretty much i got this whole set in the mail and it's the, their sigma line where they have four brushes from their line that they put together and it's like a foundation brush a concealer brush a setting brush and a contour brush so i've been loving that set notice it's not a sponsored sigma video but i really love the set so much that i've been using it on a daily basis and it literally changed my entire foundation life so um, I use the Sigma 3D HD Max Kabuki for blending out my foundation. It is dirty. I know I need to clean it. Um, but this is like a brush beauty blender. It soaks up any excess product. Like if I had too much foundation on my face, this will pretty much suck it up and, you know, not really have me looking super cakey. And I love this because pretty much the same thing, but just for a concealer type of basis. And this is the 4D HD Kabuki. It, that's just literally the name of it and it looks like this is more of like a triangular form and these curves does so good when it comes to getting in the contours of like my eyes and my nose area and all that so I feel like this does really good because I still get my coverage with using this brush um you know people don't really know they just see a lot of beauty gurus doing it all the time but um, not many people know that the Beauty Blender actually soaks up and diffuses a lot of the concealer. And I want like a very full coverage. Not even that I really needed, but I just really like that highlighted effect under my eye. Um, and I just like a good coverage concealer. I don't like something too sheer. Like if I'm like on a no makeup makeup type of day and I really don't want to have anything too crazy on my face, then... You know I'll do more of like a natural concealer but we are doing full coverage highlights contour today and I definitely messed up my wing liner but it's cool and you'll just see me going back and forth between both brushes I will use the triangular one to buff out the concealer and I will use the foundation one just to um, diffuse any areas so that it's no harsh lines. Now for contour, I'm gonna take my Fenty Matte Matchstick in Espresso, and I definitely have like an eyelash on this on the other side, like right there. <laughs> but I love to use this, the contour. You guys have seen this so many times of me using this. Um, I usually use like the Anastasia in Ebony, uh, I have a tan right now so the ebony pretty much does not show up on my skin like that so I've been going in with the espresso and I do love it even if I get um, lighter back to my natural complexion I will still be using the ebony shade um, ebony the espresso shade obviously not too much because I'm gonna be a little bit lighter but I'll still probably use it to chisel out my cheekbones contour it and all that stuff um so yeah I'm just gonna warm it up on the back of my hand first because these do need to be warmed up a little bit my chin is a chain and I'm just going to contour my cheekbones and a little bit on my forehead and the brush that I like to blend it out with is the Curved Kabuki from Sigma F83. Literally all of my face brushes are from Sigma. But I love this because look at the shape of the brush. Literally fits right in the socket of my cheekbone. And just does an amazing job with blending out any contour because you still get that chiseled line and you know it creates me a cheekbone like i obviously have cheekbones but they don't protrude out as much as i would like them to so this does an amazing job with creating that illusion with the shadow Oof. Uh. okay it looks like it looks like now my cheek is like now to set my under eye, I'm going to get go in with the MAC Studio Fix Powder and this is in the shade NC45 and I'm going to be using another Sigma brush and this Sigma brush is the Sigma Edge Kabuki in F87. I'm going to take that onto the powder and just push that on top of my contour dot. 
I love using this powder under my eyes now to set my concealer. Literally has changed my whole makeup game. It adds to the highlight, keeps me nice and matte in my T-zone, and it also does a really good job of like blurring and making my skin look like freaking butter, you guys. Now, notice that I did not contour my nose. I actually stopped contouring my nose and I just used the matte powder and this brush to push up really close to my nose contour where I would, you know, usually do my nose contour and I shape it that way. I kind of stopped, you know, doing the whole cream contour on the nose because my nose sweats, you know, sometimes and I don't be liking like how it looks after a while. It be doing too much for me. Now I will also take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deepest. I have to go back to using my MAC because my um, Sephora Micro Smooth Powder unfortunately got discontinued so I can't buy it anymore which freaking sucks so I had to go back to the MAC one which is fine because it came up with a new shade Dark Deepest before I was using Deep Dark and it was just way too red for me and this one is way more neutral and just you know I originally was using the MAC before I got to Sephora anyway so yeah and I'm just using this on a Sephora big fluffy brush in the feather weight powder brush and just buffing this all over my face before we go into bronzing so I'm just gonna use this brush it's just a, a Sephora precision blush brush number 71 to dust off any excess powder that we might have from the studio fix which is not much I like to you see what I mean it just does an excellent job with that highlight I just felt like the micro smooth powder from Sephora when I, when I would use that to set on my eye or even the Maybelline fit me powder I just felt like they weren't doing what I needed it to do to highlight underneath my eyes. I felt like it kind of took away the highlight sometimes. And I just feel like using the Studio Fix first and then using the Too Faced setting powder. Oh, y'all. So now using my bronzer, it's actually not a bronzer, it's just a darker base powder that I got from Black Radiance. And it's in the color Black Coffee. I used to use the Bobbi Brown weightless powder in espresso but I stopped using that because it was just too expensive that powder is like $50 and every other month I would break it and I would have to buy another one so you know if I break this one it's like $6 $5 and I have no problem buying a ton of these compared to $50 freaking powder from Bobbi Brown so I'm going to use my Sephora Pro Precision powder at number 59 love using this to bronze my face and I'm just going to dust that over top of my cheekbone does a really good job with catching the cream contour that we use from Fenty Beauty now I'm also going to take that bronzer powder whatever you want to consider with a Morphe M 576 brush to dust on the sides of my nose and also bringing it up to my brow like so now to contour i have not been contouring in like so long but now remember why i used to contour at the time and it makes a complete difference so this is the mac i've been using a lot of mac stuff like i kind of took it back to the mac days because before i was not using mac in so long but this is the femme noir matte powder blush from mac and i like to use this to contour and i'm going to use the makeup addiction brush in a small dual fiber brush um, I'm not using a super dense brush to do my contour because I like to just sweep a little bit of the contour on, nothing too extreme. So that's why I use a stippling brush and I just like to just step back and forth underneath that bronzer and it just slightly 
chisels out that cheekbone you know nothing too crazy everything about this foundation routine I want to look very airbrushed so a lot of the brushes that we use are all airbrush brushes and you know before I never used to think it but brushes definitely do matter when it comes to you know your whole foundation routine before I was like no I'm gonna just get like a cheap brush or whatever obviously cheaper brushes will work it's all about your technique um but i feel like i upped my technique and up my brushes so my foundation routine looks way better than it did before like ultimately better now we're going to move on to baking just slightly um i started doing this with the Too Faced uh setting powder in medium it's their ethereal setting powder from born this way collection and translucent medium and it looks like this and this is where my beauty blender comes into play again i'm going to be using this to bake underneath my eyes and on the side of my mouth and like all that stuff because i feel like it definitely does make a difference it definitely does and i know before i tried to use the cutie beauty um as a baking powder and i just didn't really like it i felt like it gave me a little bit of flashback when i used it and this number one melts into my skin like freaking butter first of all second of all i love the color i think the shade is perfect for anybody of woman of color any skin tone even darker than me and I feel like it's like the perfect slight yellow. A lot of times I feel like these companies make these under eye setting powders from a color way too topaz. Like you know that color topaz like when Ben Nye first came out with their setting powders and everybody was you know getting them because we knew nothing. Because we literally knew nothing about makeup. And you know, getting into like the beauty industry, everyone was basically saying that, you know, this is the best one for women of color, blah, blah, blah. And that color was so freaking orange. It was like, oh my gosh. Like, I don't even remember if I even still have it. But that powder was so orange and just so like disrespectful. <laughs> like, so disrespectful. Like... I'm just so happy companies are just starting to cater a little bit more. So I don't really like to, you know, let this sit for too long. I just like to use it to just give me a little bit more added brightness. Oh, here, all right. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to my blush. This is the Bare Minerals blush from their Ben Gen New Collection in But First Coffee. The perfect um, natural pink blush for my women of color girls i think this blush is freaking beautiful it's like just so perfect i'm using my makeup for makeup addiction i keep saying makeup forever or makeup resolution makeup addiction stippler brush again everything about this foundation routine is catering to airbrush because i just want a super airbrushed routine I'm gonna use the Too Faced Hangover RX setting spray and I'm just going to spray my entire face. Now moving on to highlights, I like to use two, okay? So I like to use the, this isn't really a highlight, it's just a translucent um, loose glow powder. It's from Laura Mercier. It's her new one um, in a color translucent medium deep. It doesn't look like anything crazy. It just looks like a regular powder, but the kicker is it has like a glow to it. So I like to use that one as like a, um, a base for my actual highlight. And you guys have seen this quite a few times. This is the Oprah Nikki Tutorials collab in um, Being the Haters. Oh, blind the haters but i think on ulta they changed it to being the haters i don't know why but you know i like the blind the haters a little bit better but i like to use those on this brush this is the sigma spotlight the sigma spotlight duster f37 brush and that looks like this and first i like to take the laura mercier powder and put that on first 
and like i said it's just like a super subtle like very subtle highlight glow powder and then now i'm going in with the ofra right over oh right over top I'm going to take my controlled blender brush from Makeup Addiction. You guys have seen this brush so many times. I love to use this as my highlight brush on my nose, my inner tear duct, my brows, and you know, all that stuff. Okay guys, so this concludes my whole foundation routine. Like, take one second and just look what we've done here okay look at this skin look at this glow look at this freaking foundation the concealer everything my skin literally looks like freaking butter not only because i'm taking care of my skin drinking my water you know doing a really good skincare routine but um also because i will leave actually my skincare routine down below i only use three things like no lie i use a toner a wash and a moisturizer that's it um my skin likes less is more but not only that it's just i feel like this foundation is freaking bomb like you know like i am not sponsored by nyx i wish i was you know i just i wish you know but i'm not but i think that this foundation is freaking amazing like it just it lasts such a long time um, not only that, I feel like with the powders that I use as well, um, the MAC Renal Skin Finish, the MAC Studio Fix for my highlight underneath, and also the Too Faced that I use for baking, this makes my skin look like freaking butter. Like, everything that I use that I changed up, everything just comes together, and it makes my foundation just, like my whole foundation routine, highlight, contour, all that shimmer highlight it just makes it just go on so flawless and just so perfect so um i hope you guys do try out the routine and i hope to let me know what you guys think of it like you if you guys like my whole routine i know a lot of times people don't like how many products that i use but you know this is just what goes into having a flawless look like if you look at any other you know uh, beauty guru or beauty influencer or whatever they use a crap ton of products for their highlight and contour routine that's just what it is i of course have more natural routines i have a few videos out of those like more natural looks where i'm just using you know a foundation and bronzer and highlight call it a day but again this is a full coverage highlight contour foundation shimmer highlights everything type of routine so yeah i hope you guys like it but let's move on to my wig to showcase for you guys because you guys have been wondering and questioning me it for so long all right guys so this is the wig that i have with my first wigs um this is the wig that you guys have been going cray cray about it is pretty much a bobbed curly wig but the thing that's so special about this one is the fact that um i wanted to cater more to the natural girl so this is a 3B, 3C textured wig. This is literally the same exact hair texture that my hair is. So that's why I'm so proud to call this my signature wig, which is my fourth one with my first wigs. And I just love it. It literally looks like my hair hairline wear, frontal wear, like it does not exist. Like this blends in right with my freaking hairline. And again, this curl pattern literally is my curl pattern. It is my hair texture. It has, it's literally a 3B, 3C hair texture. If you guys don't know what texture that is, when you guys see me do my hair in the beginning and my hair videos sometimes, you will see that my hair, when it's dry, it's a little bit more, it has a more texture to it. But when it's wet, it's a little bit more silky. Like that's exactly how this wig is. This has no product in it at all. All I did was um, co-wash the hair, let it air dry, and it looked exactly like this. And I just used my fingers just to kind of, you know, make it a little bit bigger. But that is all. This wig is so easy. And this is like, I've been wearing this for a few weeks. How long have I been wearing this? Like a few weeks now. So I love it. You know, <laughs> Obviously, I'm going to say that because it's mine. But I love it so much. So let me do like a 360 so that you guys can see what I mean by it being like a blunt 
not a blunt bob, but it's a it's a bob, it's a curly bob. But this is exactly what I mean. When you turn around in the back, you guys can see that it's not it's like a it's like a bob, but it's not too much of a blunt bob. And I want you guys to pay attention to the ends of this wig because this is what I mean by it's the most natural, realistic 3B, 3C textured wig that my first wigs has. So, you know, I really feel like I want to do more natural freaking wigs with my first wig. You guys know natural textures are my absolute favorite texture. I love them so much from the 4A texture, 4C, 4B, 3A, 3C, 3D anything i love it kinky straight like i love all of the natural more natural curly textures because they're just so effortless and they just look so beautiful like i just love them so much so i'm just so happy to be able to create one with my first wigs because i felt like it was definitely needed and i think the style is so cute like i think it's so nice and you guys were asking me so many questions about it like what hair is that where did you get that what vendor is that it's none of that it's literally a wig that i made with them and i just never talked about it um i did tag them of course but i just never you know really talked about it on my youtube or anything like that so this is the video for it so I hope you guys enjoyed this whole entire video. I gave you guys my foundation routine, highlight, contour, shimmer highlights, all that stuff. And I also wanted to show you guys my new curly bobbed wig. So if you guys like this whole entire video um, with me talking, being more, what was I going to say? Sentimental. That's not the freaking word. Being more intimate. I like doing more talking videos because number one, it showcases my personality. I'm cray cray. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like a lot of the times in my videos, I talk to you guys as if you're like sitting right next to me. You know what I'm saying? And I just love doing that like so i think i'm gonna start doing more talking videos like if it's a hair coloring video that's obviously not going to be freaking talk through because that would take a million years but if it's more like intimate things where i'm sitting down i'm doing my makeup i'm definitely going to do more full get ready with me it's like hair makeup and outfit i have two outfits that i want to showcase to you guys so i'm definitely going to get that out within next week and i'm also going to be doing a video on poshmark um, it's going to be sponsored by Poshmark, but I do um, sell a lot of my clothes that you guys saw me put on my story a few weeks back. I have all brand new clothes, tags, and all of that on clothes that I cannot fit no more because my booty too big. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be selling a ton of my clothes on Poshmark, so definitely look out for that video as well. But again, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so that you never miss any of my uploads and my videos because YouTube be on some budget sometimes and I don't be having time for them. So yeah, like this video if you guys really enjoyed my whole little routine and also like it if you guys like this whole look. It's a look look, okay? And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye fairies, love you.